All right, Dave and Dino, we're at uh, 83.14 here. And uh, you can see the front patio as we approach the front door. This, this house has gone through an extensive renovation, apparently. Uh, when you entered it originally, there was a step down, which is so common in McCormick Ranch. And the gal who owns it has opened it up totally, except for leaving the fireplace structure in the middle. But um, you can see that where there were, you can imagine where there were walls, they are all gone, so it's completely open from the kitchen to uh, dining area, all the way back to the front door with only this fireplace structure here. Uh, on that back wall would be an appropriate place for television, and the house is uh, well wired with cable. There's a, a, a box behind that picture you see that is connected to the whole system. In fact, this house is uh, very high tech. It has what's called a control of four system, which is security as well as lighting and uh, uh, heat and cool. But let's step into here where we have the garage it's a side entrance garage two car with a epoxied floor and some additional storage a soft water system hot water heater and air handler now entering the garage from the garage into the house you would have the kitchen and great room, family room, and dining space. And to the left is the master. Before going in there, let's just take a peek in at the laundry room, which uh, is only missing a washer and dryer. Just out the garage and the kitchen. So let's go into the master, and you can see we've got French doors, and they're high quality doors, I think they're Anderson, uh, out to the covered patio and pool area. And you can see it's a low maintenance yard as well, which is really nice. And then let's go in the master over into the master bathroom area, the granite counters, uh, and swing around into large a large shower with uh, a rain head and and uh, handheld uh, nicely done in travertine and new fixtures uh, back across from it is the walk-in closet which is built for lots of shoes and lots and lots of racks um, Fairly new and nicely done. So let's come out because this is a split floor plan. So I'm going to go across the great space and show you bedrooms on the other side. Uh, the thing I noticed about these bedrooms is they're all quite large. So here's the first one we go into. On the, and it's at the front of the house closet. We head down the hallway and here we have second bedroom and in this area of the house second bathroom with a storage closet shelving handy for towels and medicines and whatever else. And then another nicely redone bath, again in travertine, uh, with a Delta fixture. Toilet and additional closet space. Close that up. Step out of the bathroom and take a right. Here we have another door on this side of the house, access to the pool and backyard, and the third extra bedroom. Carpeting's in very nice shape. And 
What do we have? A little starry night in the corner. So let's go outside. Let me unlock this door. Out we go. And as I say, it's a, this side of the backyard is very low maintenance. Uh, there is a lawn on the other side for kids and doggies. Um, oleander has been planted along the back on this side, which provides a great deal of privacy. And then uh, this pine on the, uh, on the other side. Let's just take a walk around the back here. There's an RV gate for access to the street. And we are about a block away from Hayden here, so I can just barely hear some traffic noise. But uh, all in all, it's pretty quiet. Let's see what we have here on the back wall. And that is attached, that Sunrun is attached to a wholly owned solar system. Um, that is the best way to go on solar rather than the lease, because the lease has built-in finance costs. But with this wholly owned solar, and the agent told me she thought she spent 35000 It's on two sections of flat roof. And let me get out here and give you a sense of what the top of the house looks like you've got a pitched roof which is over the great room that we were inside in and then you have flat roofs over the bedrooms those flat roofs have the solar installed and according to the agent it would limit the electrical expense in the summer uh, which is your prime time because of the cooling to less than a hundred dollars which is a quite a significant savings. A house of this size would typically run at least 400 a month. So that's a great advantage to anybody who would choose to rent it. As far as a rental, it would probably fetch 3,500. And let me go back out of the great room and give you one more look at the open space. And there you have it.